Good evening, everyone, and welcome to Longwood Symphony Orchestra's first ever virtual gala. I'm Bridget Brazo, the executive director, and I'm so excited to be bringing you our annual gala in this new and exciting format. Tonight, we will be honoring the many healthcare heroes, we'll be enjoying some fabulous music, and of course, raising essential funds to help Longwood Symphony heal the community through music. Good evening. Hi, everyone. My name is Michael Barnett, and I'm chair of the board of directors of Longwood Symphony Orchestra. I'm also an oboist with the ensemble, a primary care physician at Brigham Women's Hospital, and if that weren't enough, I'm also an assistant professor of health policy at the Harvard Chan School of Public Health. I want to welcome all of you tonight to Longwood Symphony's first ever virtual gala honoring our orchestra's healthcare heroes. I'm really excited about this year's gala because the Longwood's work has never been more vital. As biomedical professionals, our orchestra members are on the front lines battling COVID-19 through clinical care, research, and the myriad other professions that are represented in our group. But our society needs more than clinical care to heal the deep wounds from the pandemic. The Longwood Symphony helps to bring all of us together with the healing power of music, combining forces to also benefit other organizations that are healing our community. I want to thank all of you for your support and joining us tonight. Um, please enjoy the amazing musical performances and auctions and have a wonderful evening. Thank you. Hi everyone and welcome. Thank you so much for participating in our 2020 LSO Gala. Bridget and I have put together a gala worthy cast of artists to celebrate our wonderful healthcare heroes who are front and center of this unrelenting viral pandemic. Pianist Doris Stevenson and I began the evening reception with Beethoven's 12 variations based on Handel's oratorio, Judas Maccabeus. The artists in this portion of the gala will include two wonderful players from the orchestra, our concert master, Stacy Lynn, and cellist David Shin, the new principal cellist of the Boston Symphony Orchestra, Blaise Desjardins, performing with the Boston Cello Quartet, my brother, Jonathan, an extraordinary collaborative pianist playing with his wife, the wonderful New York Philharmonic principal bassoonist, Judy LeClaire, and someone you may all know, Yo-Yo Ma. With seven cellists playing tonight, we have a lot to celebrate, or if you will, cello break. Sorry, I couldn't resist. Enjoy this special evening. <laughs> Thank you. 
I am Blaise Desjardins and I had the great pleasure of playing the Brahms double concerto with the Longwood Symphony and my dear friend, uh, violinist Ayano Ninomiya last December. Especially in those challenging times, the mission of the Longwood Symphony and Maestro Feldman is more vibrant than ever, generously supporting worthy causes. This unique orchestra is made up of our most brilliant minds in health and science and they help us fight this new virus and heal from it. I am so thankful for their hard work, which I'm sure will enable us to soon get back to the freedom we once had. As a thank you to them, I'm very happy to share a special video with all of you of a romance by Camille Saint-Saëns that I recorded remotely with my friends from the Boston Cello Quartet, um, Adam Esbenson, Alexandre Le Carme, and Mihail Giorgiatou. I hope you will enjoy it. Congratulations once again to the Longwood Symphony on your 2020 gala event, and a big thank you to all our healthcare and science heroes in the orchestra. I hope to see you all very soon, both on and off stage. Please take care. Bye.
What I appreciate most about the LSO is its sense of community. During our Monday night rehearsals, we get to share our love of music with each other. But then come concert week, we get to see how that love of music helps our community partners improve the lives of medically underserved populations. And that makes our hard work so incredibly fulfilling. Your gift not only supports the LSO, but also supports our mission of partnering with other nonprofit organizations. Thank you so much for helping us heal the community through music. I love playing in the Longwood Symphony because it gives me an opportunity to keep on making music while working as a psychiatrist, and I love supporting all of the organizations that the Longwood Symphony has contributed to. Thank you for supporting us. I am so grateful to be a part of this wonderful community of musicians and healers. Please join me in supporting the LSO today with your donation. I love the Longwood Symphony because it's a really amazing group of friends and colleagues who just love to play and to bring the connection and warmth of music to heal the community. Thank you so much for helping to support our mission. The Longwood Symphony brings together a group of inspired and passionate professionals who try to make music together and try to make some good for the world. Thank you for supporting Longwood Symphony Orchestra. I treat patients with bone and soft tissue cancer and it is a privilege to be part of the orchestra which brings balance to my life and helps me in treating my patients. I hope the gala tonight can take your mind off of the COVID pandemic because that is what the gift of music can do. I also hope you will join me in contributing to the orchestra. Thank you so much for your support. I love the Longwood Symphony because it allows us to play fantastic music together at a really high level in a really uh, lovely, sweet atmosphere. I hope you'll contribute to the Longwood Symphony Orchestra. Thank you. I love making music with this great group of people while helping organizations that do great things for our community. Thanks for supporting the Longwood Symphony. Greetings from UMass Medical School. Like all hospitals in Massachusetts, ours has treated an enormous number of patients with COVID-19 course of the past nine months. This work has been tiring and scary at times, but it's also been very rewarding as our community of healthcare providers has come together to meet this challenge. One of the things that's helped me is playing music with my friends in the Longwood Symphony Orchestra. And this group is enormously important to me, so I thank you very much for your support this evening and for coming to our gala. Have a wonderful night. Thank you. It's so much fun to play music with the Longwood Symphony. Uh, it's a treasure and a pleasure. But the main thing is the work that we can do with our beneficiaries and, and our mission. So I ask you to join me in donating to the orchestra and to our mission and supporting our mission uh, to support the community through the music that we make. So thank you very much and enjoy and I hope to see you soon. The Longwood Symphony is a fantastic organization which has a social mission to help organizations and also to uh, play excellent music. I want to thank you from the bottom of my heart for supporting the Longwood Symphony. The work that we're doing here and the support that we have from you to heal our community is so vital, especially during these trying times. It is truly a privilege and honor to play in an ensemble that values excellence in music, medicine, and service. I'm grateful to engage musically in a community of medical experts who are also working to make a difference not only through our music, but our professional lives as well as our service efforts. Thank you for your generous support of the Longwood Symphony. Good evening, I'm Stacy Lynn, the concert master of Longwood Symphony Orchestra and a student at Harvard Medical School. I'm David Shin, and I'm a clinical research coordinator at MGH. Thank you for attending this year's LSO virtual gala. We hope you enjoy this Mozart duet.
And now I'd like to tell you a little bit about our Healing Art of Music program. We partner with other nonprofit organizations, normally with a concert at Jordan Hall, and we work with them to create an event of their own. We help them build capacity and strategize about fundraising and selling tickets, and of course, raise awareness for the incredible mission and the incredible work that they do. And we have two former community partners who have a message for you tonight. And after you hear from them, we'll move on to the next musical segment, which is Jonathan Feldman, who, yes, is related to Ronnie, mm. and Judith LeClaire, uh, the New York Philharmonic Principal Bassoon, and maybe a couple special guests or two with their performance. Please enjoy. Hi, my name is Anna Linakis baker I'm the Executive Director of Greater Boston Physicians for Social Responsibility. And three years ago, one of our board members approached me and asked if we could consider the Longwood Symphony Orchestra Partnership. At the time, I didn't know much about the partnership and thought it would be strictly a fundraiser, hoped it would be worth it, and really didn't know much more than that. Um, and we've learned over the last three years that it's so much more than a fundraiser, although we did do quite well on the fundraising side and we were pleased with that. Um, it's also about forging new relationships, as we did with the medical community in the Boston area and with other nonprofits and peer organizations um, that we hadn't really known very well, but delved kind of deeper into the relationship. Uh, we also learned that the method of speaking directly to people about our issues is not as effective as speaking directly with the combination of the arts and music and breaks and listening. And we, we learned a lot about the process of fundraising and awareness raising through our partnerships. So we are forever grateful for our Longwood Symphony Orchestra partnership, and we hope to continue learning as we go and taking some of the lessons we've learned from the past three years forward. Thank you. Hello, I'm Arthur Vimberry. I'm the executive director of Podtakers. Podtakers is a community mentoring organization that matches incarcerated women and men with volunteers from the community in the greater Boston area. Our goal is to reduce recidivism by helping people to reach incarcerated people and formerly incarcerated people to reach a higher potential and to become gainfully employed and contribute to society upon the release from prison. Our association with the Longwood Symphony, Symphony Orchestra has been an amazing uh, collaboration because it has helped us in so many different ways to better our organization. For one, we were able to reach an audience that we were never able to reach before. We were able to introduce ourselves to new people uh, to tell them about our mission and our goals. The funding and the financial support was one thing, but more than that, it helped us, it gave our organization an opportunity to expand our program and to reach more people. It gave us the ability to develop our core as an organization. And it also gave us the, uh, the amazing opportunity to create more needed program, which is what we are in the midst of doing today. It allowed us to attract more board members. Uh, some of the board members we got were actually at the at the uh, symphony, at the Longwood Symphony uh, Orchestra uh, concerts that we did and that we um, were a part of. So it was such an amazing collaboration. Um, we are so grateful to the Longwood Symphony Orchestra, Dr. Stephen Wright, Bridget Frizzo and everybody else to help us along this amazing path to grow as an organization. Today, we are sounding on our way to growing as an organization. We, uh, we were able to hire a new admin person. This is the first time we've added new staff in over 15 years. And that is di a direct result of our funding from the Longwood Symphony Orchestra. Uh, we are internally e grateful for the uh, opportunity to be a part of such an amazing experience. And we look forward to um, hopefully when things turn around to become involved with them again. Good evening. I'm Jonathan Feldman. And I'm Judy LeClaire. And we're both very happy to be here celebrating the healthcare heroes. To show our appreciation, 
we would like to play the Andante by Ludwig Mildi of his Andante Allegro for bassoon and piano. We hope you enjoy it and thank you so much. Hello, this is Yo-Yo Ma. I'd like to congratulate and thank the Longwood Symphony for its commitment as essential workers to other essential workers, because that's what you have been doing for so many years, and tonight's gala is no exception. The fact that you are there in your professional world and as musicians to serve the community that you serve is fantastic. I hope that this gala will not only do its work for the community, but it actually gives each and every member of the Longwood Symphony a kind of satisfaction and fulfillment and meaning in your lives for this commitment, this musical commitment to service. And during these times, you have been giving your all and you continue to give. 
And may you have the strength and reservoir to withdraw from this incredible, generous capacity and that may your reservoir be replenished over and over again with gratitude from the community for what you do. And here's a little song to thank you. Thank you.